In this video, I'll show you how to calculate RRSP using the annuity formula. Let's start off with an important definition. Simple ordinary annuity are annuities where the compounding period is equal to the payment period, and payments are made at the end of each compounding period. To calculate RRSP, which stands for Registered Retirement Savings Plan, you'll need to use the annuity formula, and it's shown below, and the letters for this formula are defined to its right. Let's read the question. Suppose you invest $200 per month from the age of 15 until you retire at the age of 65 into an RRSP. Assume the plan averages 7% annual rate of return, compounded monthly. Notice that this and this are underlined because the payment period and the interest compounding period are the same. How much money will you have when you retire? So let's start off by defining some key variables here. We are told that this investment will happen between the ages of 15 and 65. So that is a span of 50 years. I subtracted 65 minus 15, and that is equal to 50 years. So you'll be doing this investment for the next 50 years of your life, paying $200 every month. We're also told the regular deposit. And the regular deposit here is 200, so therefore R is equal to $200. Furthermore, we're told that it's 7% annual rate of return compounded monthly. So we're going to take our percentage, which is represented by the letter I, 7% divided by 12, because it is compounded monthly, and you can always follow this chart. Notice that if it's monthly, you take your I and you divide it by 12, and subsequently you divide it by 100, because we don't want to use percent. We want to use decimal, and that's how you go from percentage to decimal. So let's calculate that right now. 7 divided by 12 divided by 100 gives us exactly 0 0.00583 repeating. 0 0.00583 repeating. And that will represent our I value. What else do we need to define? Our N value represents the total number of deposits. Now, this will be done for the next 50 years and it will be done 12 times in a year because it is compounded monthly. So we have to take this number and multiply it by 12. If we multiply this by 12, we end up with 600. We've defined all our variables. All we have to do now is substitute these values into our formula. So let's go ahead and do that right here. We have A is equal to 200 bracket 1 plus this number, 0 0.00583. And we don't have to be super accurate here. We can just stop after the first three to the power of n, which is 600, minus 1. Close bracket, all over 0 0.00583. Let's use our calculator. We'll start off with 200. 200 bracket, bracket, 1 plus 0 0.00583, close bracket to the power of 600 minus 1, close bracket. That represents the numerator divided by the denominator, 0 0.00583, gives us $1,088,003. That's not too bad. So essentially, by the age of 65, you will have acquired over $1 million for your retirement. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate RRSP using the annuity formula.